<laughs> Welcome to my tort test kitchen. I am mystery author Ellie Alexander and I am so excited to welcome you in to my tort test kitchen this week for a Halloween ghoulish feast. Do you love Halloween as much as I do? Then stay tuned because we're gonna bake up a murderous spread. I'm thrilled to have you here with me as I really dive in to one of my favorite holidays. Halloween is in the fall and it's that changing of seasons. Plus my creative spirit loves the idea of dressing up and of course as a kid trick or treating. Because my entire family was bookish, many of my costumes revolved around book themes. I was Laura Ingalls Wilder from Little House on the Prairie many years in a row. My mom made my friend and my sister and I bonnets and we had the little tin lunch pails. My brother was Mr. Rogers, no joke, three years in a row. The first year he showed up trick-or-treating in a little cardigan and no one knew who he was. So no joke, the next year my mom took an old album of Mr. Rogers hits, that's a real thing, check it out and cut out his face and glued on a popsicle stick so my brother could have a Mr. Rogers mask. I went through a Smurf phase where I was a Smurf multiple years in a row. That was a lot of blue face paint that stuck with me forever. And then don't even get me started about my Rubik's Cube costume post-college that my husband made for me. It was fantastic, but it was really hard to sit down or move. One other tradition that I always had growing up and I continue today with my family is a Halloween feast. Before you hit the mean streets of Ashland to go trick-or-treating, you need to fuel up. So today I'm gonna to be making my famous mac and cheese. This is a fail-safe mac and cheese recipe. It is so decadent and creamy and delicious. It is definitely something that Tort would have on the menu. I'm also gonna pair that with some mummy dogs and some chocolate Halloween brownies, and we're gonna be fueled up and ready to go trick-or-treating. Actually, the reality is in my family, my son is too old to trick-or-treat now, so I just have to live vicariously and get very excited about all the little ghouls and goblins who come to my front door. All right, with Halloween in mind, let's get baking. This mac and cheese is to die for. It has that decadent, cheesy deliciousness, and then that nice crispy topping with the baked cheese and the Italian breadcrumbs. It is such a crowd pleaser. Every time I make it for Halloween, it disappears, as do mummy dogs and festive punches and brownies, you name it. It's Halloween, you gotta go all in, right? 
The other thing is you could use any pasta you have on hand. You could do a traditional elbow macaroni. I like to elevate it a little bit as Jules would at tort with a fancy Italian pasta, but do whatever you have in your pantry. All right, I am so eager to hear from you. What are your costume choices? I am still waiting to see mine. My husband and my son are in the process of making my costume, so I will have no idea what it is until Halloween day. And don't worry, I'll be sharing it with you. I'm hoping it's not a Rubik's Cube again, just because I wanna sit and eat this delicious pasta. But I wanna hear what you are wearing for Halloween, and I also would love to hear what Halloween feast traditions you have in your family. As always, thanks so much for joining me for another Tort Test Kitchen. Ooh, the Halloween episode. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified whenever I share new videos. Happy Halloween!